everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Again, this is a UNESCO city of gastronomy. And there's a lot of good food in Tucson, but especially incredible Mexican food. Today, we're gonna go on a Mexican street food tour of Tucson. But we're gonna eat some, not just tacos today, but we're gonna eat seafood. We're gonna eat a seafood tower. That is my favorite type of building right there. We're gonna eat some regional Mexican food. I'm hanging out with my friend Carlos and his family. It's gonna be just an amazing day, full of delicious food, and I'm gonna share everything with you right now in this video. <laughs> So to begin this Mexican street food tour of Tucson today, we are eating at a place that it's in the shadow of Panda Express, slotted right between Panda Express and Wendy's. Well, yeah, this taco is a lot more. They are so incredibly nice and friendly here. They're so cool. These are legendary tacos from Nogales. And the process is they use corn tortillas and she dips them into the hot oil, the oil, uh, takes them out real fast, then dips them into the salsa roja, which is this really red salsa, mainly oil based. That goes in, it just drenches the tortillas in this luscious looking flavorful oil, chili oil. Then they go on to the, to the plate where she makes the, 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 the tacos and she puts in this mixture of potato and beef into the tacos. They're, they're then folded over and then all the vegetables are added and that is a taco al vapor, Nogales style. And then they're also making some fried tacos and some chimichangas for us as well. Mucha hambre, mucha hambre. ¿Quieres muchos taquitos mexicanos? Taquitos mexicanos. De la taquería del Porfi de Nogales, Sonora. Sí. Originales de Nogales, de Nogales, Sonora. Nogales, Sonora. Se le pone mayonesa a la chimichanga. Esta es la combinación, chimichanga con tortilla de harina, al vapor, tortilla de maíz y el taco okay. dorado. Oh, oh man. Bye. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. They're Espero so amazing. Guste. So nice. Gracias, Thank gracias. You. Bye -bye. They are gracias. so cool. Thank you. Buenos días. Oh man, they're so cool, they're so friendly. We didn't, we ordered some of just the tacos al vapor and then they made us this entire combination plate with a chimichanga, a whole extra combination plate. And they have no seating here, so I think we're gonna go find a tree to, to sit under or stand under and devour these tacos al vapor. Muchas gracias. It is, it is also quite similar to tacos de canasta, yeah? Very similar, yeah, but now with the process different because it's, it's like more like a food truck. So they actually put them together there. And ah, okay. Instead of putting all the tacos together and then and giving then you, steaming yeah. them, okay. Yeah. Very spicy. She okay, said, this, she this said salsa it's spicy, is right? spicy. Okay, this is one of what? the spiciest salsas I've tried in a while. Oh, you already I just, tried I it? I just barely tried it. <laughs> you already tried it. So this is spicy as spicy can be when it comes to salsa, really. I can't wait. That's spicy salsa. Right That's there. what we need for breakfast. Uh oh. <laughs> Listo. Listo. Okay. Listo. Go. Give me a. Because I know, I know you like salsa, okay? Give so, me a big, so that's, that's gonna be a big good. amount of that salsa. Just because it's breakfast, I won't go too bad on that. <laughs> what about you, Benny? A little bit. A little bit? 
limoncito. There you go. Carlos, it's hot. you need to you need to have some salsa to wake up in the morning. Ah. Listo. The best, the best thing about this taco yes. is it's our table. Yes. yes. You have the best table. On, today. on the hood of the truck, underneath a palo verde tree. <laughs> This is the best place ever. So it's gonna to be eat. Our, yeah. today's breakfast. <laughs> and they're like proper breakfast tacos too because of the potato. Yep. Potato and meat is stuffed inside of these oily oh, yeah, so the this oiliness is, this, of it. These are morning tacos. These are morning tacos. Yeah, oh it morning is tacos. supposed to be for breakfast. Yeah, okay. Breakfast tacos, All right. Yeah. Salud. All right. Cheers. Saludcita. Mmm. Oh man. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the little potato there, man? Oh, so good. Oh, when the red oil drips down your wrist, you know it's good. The shredded meat and potato, and then there's just the softness of that tortilla. Handmade tortillas, too. Handmade tortillas. Handmade tortillas. Those ladies are amazing. Yeah, you can taste the, the handmade tortilla. You can, it, you it really can. Mmm. Wow. And I'm not usually a big fan of mayonnaise, but somehow it just melts to create this sauce with the chili oil and the mayonnaise. It is perfect. Mmm. Chili oil running down. That is extraordinary. Let's try that mini chimichanga. Oh, the crispiness of it. <laughs> I got two boys fighting. Mm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's amazing, man. This salsa, and then like when you bite into it, like the crispiness. Watch. I can hear that crispiness. Yeah, that crunch. Fill it. <laughs> mm. One last al vapor, Carlos. We need to split it. Perfect. That's the breakfast of champions. Yeah, it is. From here, we're going to a place that's pretty much just across the street and down the road, just a little ways for amazing mariscos, which is all sorts of different Sonoran style seafood. I love the look of this place before we even sit down. It's called Bajamar, and they're known for their mariscos, for all sorts of seafood. Oh man, this is a spot. <laughs> Buenos dias. Nada más para que no se les huele, okay? Okay. Este es molcajete maleficio, trae camarón crudo, cocido, pulpo, callo. Si no quieres algo, se lo podemos quitar. Vamos a probar este maleficio. El maleficio, El maleficio sí. Shrimp and cheese inside of chilies wrapped in bacon and fried. Toritos. Wow. And the presentation is just spectacular. That tower, seafood tower. These are tortillas? tortillas okay, tortillas. tortillas and also and also tostadas, right? It's common. It's especially common to eat with tostadas. We got that salsa negra, right? We got a negra, yeah. So it's a it's a dark salsa, which they said is less spicy so all the family can eat it. And then there's octopus in here, there's shrimp, there's scallops, I think. Scallops, yep. And I think so I think we just reach into here and load it onto our tostada. Yep. Or mix it around, or you can mix it around. You can mix it around. What is that salsa negra? Is it like a dark roasted chilies? Um, I think it's mostly gonna be like mostly so, uh, soy sauce. Oh, there's some soy sauce yeah, maybe too. Soy sauce, lime, lime. lime, and then um, okay. Right, cheers again. Listo. Cheers. Listo. Yeah. Listo. Mm.
Oh yeah, yeah, and the seafood, you can taste the freshness, uh, the, the sweetness of especially that scallop, I think, right? I wanna get some of the octopus on this bite. It's not spicy, but it's well spiced. And you taste the, the lime juice for sure. I love the onions, the chilies in there. So good, so refreshing. Next up for the for the seafood tower, and this is an absolute beauty. Let me try to name each layer. There's scallops, there's tomatoes, there's cucumber, there's shrimp, there's more cucumber, there's onions, there's octopus, there's shrimp, there's avocado. Is that crab on the top? Yeah, it's just a crab, yeah. It looks like crab. Crab. crab on the top, crab on the top, and then avocado on the very top, and then all drenched in the salsa and then some chili sprinkled around, more cucumber sprinkled around, there's red onions. This is my favorite type of skyscraper. I think that's the one thing that represents Margaret Lynch, <laughs> is like that tower of food. Maybe I'll just put the tostada there too, to catch the fall. And I think part of the fun is, you don't really know what you'll get on each bite, and you don't mind. <laughs> it's so much actually when you when you break it down you can see how much it's a mountain of seafood. Oh yeah. Salud. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's so good. So refreshing, again cool. I love the avocado in there, the creaminess. I love how he has like everything. You know? He has scallops, it's a little like chewy. You know, you got your uh, pickle shrimp, and then you got the onions and the cucumbers, they're crispy. And then with the tostada, it's just great. Perfect. And with that salsa, actually, their salsa is so good. The salsa is spicy and just fiery, vibrant. Salsa. salsa. Carlos. Yep. Big one. with that salsa, that makes the difference. Let's go for it. <laughs> Roll it in, yeah, okay. That is the correct thing to do. If this is fully stuffed with cheese, that's like a block of cheese inside of each chili. <laughs> cheese and shrimp, oh, okay. Cheers, Annette, Benny. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. That's spicy. That is amazing. It's so good. <laughs> it's spicy, but it's really good. It's so good. It's so juicy. Mm -hmm. Very juicy. And the cheese just kind of like, it's almost like a, a liquidy cheese on the inside, almost like cream cheese. Like cream cheese yeah. yeah, it's like cream cheese. With shrimp, the juicy chili, and the bacon is so, so flavorful. I'm gonna rejuice it, though. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> it's so good. This is how you know you like it. Uh oh. Is that Italian? Is that Italian? That is just a pure bite, a chili of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a soup, but then, of course, you gotta get your tortilla. You gotta get a tortilla. Okay. Turn it up. Have it on your side. Soup. Oh, so you take a bite of the soup and then a bite of the tortilla? That's how you do it, man. <laughs> Wow. Mantarraya Rico. soup, yeah, it has to be one of my favorite soups when it comes to seafood. Good. This, this is the mantarraya right there. It has octopus, shrimp. Um, so yes, it's mostly like a, more like a seafood soup, but yeah, the broth, it's mantarraya, so. Okay. A little bit of lime. Oh. Every bite with salsa, yes. There you go. Gracias, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. Taste like a tortilla. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's so comforting. Just like a really hearty seafood stew. 
So this one is like a tomato-based sauce, like clamato usually, yeah. with a mix of seafood. There's shrimp, there's probably octopus in here, lots of tomatoes, cilantro, onions, and then avocado on the top. Oh man, and a shrimp kebab. Mm. What I like is every dish has a different flavor. A similar combination of seafood, but a different flavor. And I love the tomato base of that one. The refreshing factor of it. The, oh, the cilantro in there. Like me, you might be thinking, oh, Tucson, we're in the middle of the desert. We're far, far away from the sea. But actually, we are not that far away from the sea. It's only like four hours. About four hours. Okay, so all the way to all the way to the sea in Mexico is only about four hours away. So actually, we're not really that far away from the ocean. We have pretty good seafood. You wouldn't think about seafood in Arizona, but with that direct access to Mexico and the sea. That's how you get the fresh seafood. From here, we're gonna go check out another street food stall, which is more in central Tucson, that specializes in a very regional variation of Mexican food. Carlos's cousin, Alejandro, really highly recommended it. food truck is called El Antojo Poblano and they specialize in food poblano, comida poblano, which is food from the Puebla state in kind of central, it's very near to Mexico City. Really like this place. It's, it's a food truck but immediately as you pull in you can tell that they take pride in their food truck in the entire courtyard area, in the patio area. It's so clean, it's so well organized. It's just a really nice place. In Moladas? In Moladas. Is, in Moladas. It, is it similar to mole? It's same thing, yeah. Oh, so it's pretty much like, like enchiladas but with mole instead of chili. Let's try one of these things. Let's try a corache. Dos platos? Dos platos. Okay, dos platos de molada. Semitas. Semita. Chicharrón, tinga. tinga. Ah, tinga. Y asada. Sí, sí, sí. Tortillas. We are inside of the food truck now. They're so cool. And she's gonna show us, uh, well, tell us a little bit about the mole that she serves here, as well as uh, show us how she prepares the plate of en enmolada. En Enmoladas, but with mole sauce on top. When you eat here, you are guaranteed the real deal. Fresh, everything fresh. Literally, your tortillas fried right before they get wrapped into your enchiladas, right before she wraps them up and puts mole sauce all over them. Okay. It's all about that sauce, that mole sauce, which can include something like 20 to 30, maybe even 40 different ingredients. And every family, families have their own recipes. And for her, 
it has been passed down. This is her fourth generation family recipe that her mother makes. And actually her mother is, lives in Puebla still and makes the mole, which is made into a paste. So all those ingredients are ground down into a paste consistency. And then from there, you can make it into a sauce. It will last and you can make it into a sauce. And so her mother makes it in Puebla and then sends it here to Tucson to their cart here where they make it fresh. And so this is as authentic as real, real deal. Puebla mole that you can possibly get. Gracias, Guarache. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sem poblana? Semita poblana. Sem Semita poblana. Okay. okay. This is, is enmoladas. Molada, enmoladas. Okay. Oh, and I love mole. <laughs> Carlos and I had some amazing mole in Oaxaca, but we didn't make it to Puebla. We will go to Puebla. Sometime. We will. We will That's for sure. That's going to be one of our next trips. Our goal. And possibly if we can, if we can meet this Hang lady. out with her. Yeah. Hang out with her mom. The fourth generation mole yes. maker from Puebla. Oh man. Oh. I want to maximize as much of that mole sauce in this bite. And Carlos, you love mole, I know that. Yeah, mole. I know you love be, mole. Uh, one, of One of your favorite dishes. foods? Yep, by far. Now, yeah, this is Puebla mole. So it's supposed to be sweeter on the sweeter side. So, ah, we'll see. Okay. And maybe spicy. So, okay. we'll see how this one is. Carlos. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I was not expecting that. That is amazing. That is good. Mm -hmm. good. An overwhelming comfort just immediately comes upon you with your first bite. I, again, mole is like one of the most complex stews in the world with so many different chilies. There can be like raisins and dates and chocolate and cinnamon and like 20 to 40 ingredients. Bread. <laughs> yeah, bread, crackers, crackers. cookies, cookies. There are cookies, cookies yeah. sometimes. Yeah, it's mole, just you, amazing. You can never go wrong with mole. It's just it's too many flavors in there. Especially when it's, it's a fourth generation fourth family generation, recipe yeah. direct from Puebla in Tucson. Now, I oh, gotta that say, is good. Th this is on the spicier side when it comes to moles, ah. uh, which for me, I love spicy. So making, making it this flavorful and also spicy, that's special. You could take a bath in that mole sauce. It's so good. Oh, how's it going to fit? <laughs> mm. 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 You already finished the whole plate of it. <laughs> Warache. Warache. And what, you told me Warache means sandal? Yeah, like a sandal, yeah. Because that is definitely the size of a sandal. foot, yeah, <laughs> of a sandal. A corn base, which is maybe fried, and then you can choose your different meats. We got with tinga, which is like a chicken type of stew and then also chicharron, and then topped with lettuce, topped with cheese, topped with radish, some salsas on there. How do you eat this? We'll see right now. <laughs> this is not, I don't think this is pick up but maybe you just kind of take a corner. I think we need to use a knife. Or do you typically eat it with a knife? Fully loaded. You see the meat juices are oozing out into the corn base. Oh, it smells so good. Immediately it erupts with this meat juice, chicharron aroma to it. Guaraches. Guaraches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that chicharron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the crispy pork. You can taste that mm -hmm. crispy pork in there, yes. Immediately. That is just greasy deliciousness. Mm. And then the final thing we got, similar to a, a torta or a sandwich served on a special bread. We got to pick it up, just analyze all the layers, maybe. Oh, you can feel how crunchy that bread is on top. Patty on the bottom, looks very crispy. There's cabbage. There's a variety of roasted chilies, it looks like. Some herbs. Oh, that's the ancient Mexican herb, she said. And then avocado on top, and then ham. Mmm. Hey. You immediately taste like the... That special herb. The special herb, yeah. Did, did... I don't know if I isolated oh. the herb, but I immediately tasted the... Um, the pickled chilies, like pickled preserved chilies. I gotta find that herb. What does it taste like, huh? Wow. Find it. Okay. It has to be like a very unique herb. And she told us about the herb. I think it's like a, an assistant herb. So that's why we got this. It's folded into the, the pickled chilies. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
it's kind of like a cross between mint and cilantro. Yep, exactly. Like yeah. mint and cilantro. So it's powerful. It's like so mint it's and cilantro. cilantro. It's a really good sandwich, actually. It's a very good sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good sandwich. Mmm. Everything just works together so well. The herb is powering it, though, yeah. It is very powering. And mm -hmm. once you find that herb, wow. I can't put it down. All three dishes, these are their specialties. All three dishes are outstanding, actually. And you can tell the, the passion and the love that she puts into our cooking, the family recipes. Amazing food. Just a great place. Pure happiness. Oh, my belly's <laughs> full of goodies Expanding. today. Expanding. Oh, it's been a good day. <laughs> it's been a good Lots day. Of food. Back over to the mole with that rice. Mmm. The fluffiness of that rice, the spice in there, and then just mixing and mashing it with that mole sauce. That's spectacular. Wow, this is a hidden gem of Tucson. So we have one more place to go to this afternoon to complete this street food tour of Tucson today. We're on our way there next. It got a little bit stormy all of a sudden this afternoon, but I love the desert when it gets stormy. That breeze comes through, the, the smell of the rain, even though it's not raining, beautiful. And we have arrived to our last place today. This is a place I've been wanting to come. It's kind of on the outskirts of the city. There's mountains around. There's, we're surrounded by desert and it's called Los Mesquites. They're known for their carne asada, which they're grilling roadside and, well, tacos. Um, I did say, hey, what's up, man? I did say we weren't going to eat that many tacos today, but we're going to have a few carne asada tacos here. They make tripas, which are intestines, and they also, today, they have menudo. Carne asada estilo Sonora. Estilo Sonora. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Another absolute hidden gem of Tucson. Everything cooked over the fire over mesquite. The peppers, the onions, the carne asada. He roasts the tortillas over the fire before he makes burros, burritos, tacos the intestines, they have seating under the tree, that mesquite smoke. <laughs> oh man, I love this place. Tripa. Tripa de... De leche. De leche. Tripa de leche, se llaman son de red. Tripitas, ah, tripitas, bien doradas. Oh, 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 oh. Dos tacos mixtos. Tacos Oh, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 
love how they make how he makes the three pass here just slow and slow. Well, or not so low and slow, but flaming hot. But just keeps them in a. It's like a pile. It's like a a roll of rope, just all together in a pile. So it keeps in the smoke. It holds in the smoke while that grease is released until they're charred and smoky, and then they're gonna be chopped up. But we also got the campechana, which is a mixed taco, including tripa, intestines, and carne asada. So we got the tacos, we have to go inside to put on some salsas. And the inside, by the way, is so cool too. Look at the floor. It's all natural. Salsa bar. I love everything about this place. And Yin got a nice plate of carne asada as well. Oh, that looks extraordinary. Yeah, it's kind of wobbly. Gracias. <laughs> so we got a couple tacos. We got the burro, which he makes on the grill. He even rolls it on the grill sometimes. We got, wow, the wind is picking up again. And then we also got a bowl of menudo, which should be on the way. So this one is the campechano. Campechano, Campechano. carne asada and tripas. And tripa. On a flour tortilla. On a flour tortilla. A true Sonoran piece of culture here. Carlos, which one is the habanero salsa? So this one is the habanero salsa. Okay, yep. I'm going habanero salsa. Habanero salsa, yes. Yeah, carne asada. Some reason we didn't get any habanero salsa. Yeah, but, but so it far, tastes so good, right? It has to go with habanero salsa. Bite the taco and then chase with jalapenos, jalapeno and jalapenos cebollita. and cebollitas, the grilled onions. So finishing up today with carne asada. And I love everything about this place. You cannot go wrong with carne asada. No. That down hard, but it's easy. Mm. Do it again. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -oh. It's so smoky. The carne asada is caramelized and crunchy and smoky, and then. Oh, the three pass is so good, too. Three pass is really good. I gotta try the jalapeno. Mmm. Oh wow, it's sweet. It's sweet and smoky. It is sweet, yeah. Yeah. And then spicy to follow. Okay, so what you do? You have to peel it? Mm -hmm. Bite it off. Spike. Keep off. And then, oh, then pop it out. Pop it out. Oh. Lime. You put what? Oh, lime, salt. Carlos, that's a pro move, man. There. That is a pro move. Yep. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's what you do right there. Okay. Now it's your turn. Bite off the top. Or the bottom, actually. Okay. That way you can pop out the, the inside. There we go. And Carlos's pro tip, add a little bit of lime. Dip it in the salsa. Mm. And then you're left with the skin. It's, oh, it's so sweet. So sweet, huh? So <laughs> sweet. So smoky. Oh, man. It's like a candied onion right there. You can top off your taco. Mm. Those jalapenos. Mm. This place is absolutely amazing. It's all about the fire. The mesquite. This was not originally in the plan to try the burro, but we saw him making it and it looks so good. We had to. The burro. <laughs> so there. <laughs> oh, so there's carne asada, there's cabbage, and there's like a pico de gallo in here. And then he grilled the entire thing. Grilled the tortilla, grilled the meat, 
and then grilled the entire burrito. Sprinkle of lime always juice, lime. always lime. And Carlos and I both decided that the habanero salsa is the salsa here. This one is so good. Get my cebollita ready? Oh, yes. Spider. A chaser? I'll go with a jalapeno chaser. Oh. All right. It's much easier. Wow. A chaser? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the menudo is here. Yeah. Gracias. Mm. I, like the, I like the saltiness of this carne asada. Yeah. I don't know if you can feel the saltiness. Yes. It's like the carne asada you make, yeah. Exactly, you know. That's right, yep. Like yep. yep. The saltiness, one step higher and it would be too salty. Yeah. Just perfect. But yep. it's like just perfect, just yeah. Perfect. even hungry but uh, Carlos and I just slammed this burrito that's how good it is mm. okay final dish that's gonna complete this tour the bowl of menudo so menudo stomach oh gracias those are the three pitas right off the grill ready oh my gosh okay time out before menudo we need to have one of those right now Get a tiny snack, right? Snack, a little bite. Snack in, snack in between meals. Oh man, that's right off the grill. It was in flame seconds ago. <laughs> nice and crunchy. Daddy. Oh. Daddy, oh, wow. <laughs> They're so hot, so salty. Filled. They're filled, yeah. Yes. The greatest natural sausage you could possibly ask for. Okay, back to the menudo. Okay, so I'm gonna taste one bite of the the menudo before we season it. Oh yeah. Mm. The heaviness of that broth. It's almost buttery from all that melted pig fat. Plenty of lime. <clears throat> we'll do some onions. Cilantro. Cilantro. A special touch. You gotta go chiltepin. Chiltepin. Um, yeah, for those who know chili beans, it's very small, very spicy chili, very small, very spicy, but it's very, very flavorful, so. I remember vividly my first taste of chili with Carlos's dad, because <laughs> Carlos's dad loves them. I remember Carlos's dad gave me one. Oh man, I loved it from first taste. And so these are already crushed up. Oh man, okay, let's dig into the menudo, Carlos. Some of the stomach with some of the corn, the toppings. Oh wow, it's yes. so rich and flavorful. And then with some of the like literally buttered toast. Do uh, you normally dip it or just eat it? I just eat it. I just eat it? Oh. Big, big spoon, everything in there. That is extraordinary, yeah. Chill the bean. Yes. Mm. It's such a warming, warming. Almost more like a stew rather than a soup, because it's so heavy. We actually came here to eat the menudo, <laughs> but we, we stayed for the carne asada. <laughs> but both good. Incredible. No, no, no regrets. Good. No, no regrets. regrets. No, not at all. No regrets. Not at all. What a dish to end this tour with. Actually, it's been an amazing day. Yep. Ta tacos al vapor. Tacos al vapor. The mariscos. A lot of mariscos. A lot of mariscos. Um, oh, the amazing mole poblano and fi then finally carne asada and menudo. Yep. That is, this has been an ultimate day of amazing food. Tucson, some of the best Mexican food outside of Mexico. Yep, that's right. Yeah. This place is called Los Mesquites. Absolutely sensational. And so a big thank you to my friend Carlos and Annette and family and Benny uh, for hanging out today, for going around eating in Tucson. I will have all of these restaurants that we ate at, all of the food stalls that we ate at in the description box below so you can check them out. Make sure to try them. Highly recommended to all of them when you are in Tucson. A big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching, goodbye from Tucson, and I will see you on the next video.